Hey, what's everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to reduce video file size in Adobe Premiere Pro 2022. I've recently made this video, however, things have changed in 2022, so I wanted to update everyone on it. First things first, I imported some footage from Envato Elements, a great subscription-based service where you can get an unlimited amount of stock footage description in the link below. Once I have this imported in, we notice this is about a 40 megabyte file. If we go over here to the export button and we go down, we can see that the estimated file size is right about 44 megabytes. So what we want to do is we want to see if we can reduce this. Why would you want to reduce it? Well, a lot of these are recorded and lossless and we don't want to export and lossless. We're uploading YouTube. It's okay to reduce it a little bit. So we want to make sure that we start with our preset set here. Quick way, just drop this to medium bit rate or low bit rate, and it'll do a lot of the work for you. However, a lot of times, if you notice, it dropped the audio quality too. We don't need to drop the audio quality. That's not the thing that's going to take up a lot of, of, you know, video and bad audio is just horrible. So a lot of times I say, don't touch the presets, go down into this more button, and you want to scroll down into the bitrate settings right here. Now, this is basically an easy slider. You slide it back and forth. Up, it's going to be higher quality. Lo down, it's going to be lower quality. There is a limit. I can't just drag this all the way to the right. It'll say it's an even larger file, but there's not going to be a lot better at all with this quality, if anything. So there's a, a law of diminishing turns. You'll see if I, I can keep bringing it up. We can make this, whoops. We can make this file like 161 megabytes and there's gonna be no real quality enhancement there. So what we can do is we can actually drag this down a touch. So we were around 60 right there. So we can go, for example, around 48, a little bit lower, depending on what you're trying to aim for here. Uh, of course, the quality will reduce as we do this. We don't wanna go too terribly far down, um, but you know, a good tw half to you know three quarters, that range is probably a good enough for if you're uploading online. Another way we can do this is a uh, two pass. What a two pass does is it does the first pass and then it comes back and on the second pass it actually encodes. The first pass it gathers data on all of the slide transitions. If you wanna look up encoding and see how all that works, all it's doing is it's gathering more information before it does it. It takes substantially longer, but it can be a little bit more efficient. Sometimes it reduces the file size a little more and sometimes it ups the quality just a little bit because it knows what's coming up but what you can do is you could set for example a hundred bit rate as your maximum your target as something like you know 30 or so and then see if you like the quality and how much it actually outputs remember this is only an estimate it'll be a lot different when not a lot different but a little different so it could actually go up a little high if you set this too high up so that is one way another way is you can actually go here and if you're not trying to upload for 4k footage like for example if you're not trying to upload to youtube at 4k a lot of times we aren't you can go into a full hd and this will reduce file size as well if you don't believe me check out these two files this one was exported in 1920 full hd this one was 4k the 4k automatically has more information with it it has more pixel information that it has to keep track of therefore the file is just a little bit larger and then the these two will actually increase at sort of a, a different rate depending on how what your bit rate is so this one will get larger and larger than this one would if you made it 720p it would be even smaller so if you're trying to just you know share it with a quick client or a friend or something you could come down here just as 720p and if we exported this it would be even smaller so that's another option as well but those are some really quick ways that you can reduce your file size in adobe premiere pro thanks everyone for joining me if you have any questions or comments let me in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net if you want to see more videos similar to this one, go to that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, see ya.